Thank you for joining us at Albuquerque Dragway for the 2019 edition of the Firecracker Nationals, running on Friday, July 5th and Saturday, July 6th. A lot of competitors came out. Of course, it's a Friday night and a Saturday night event. Weather was pending, so it became a little interesting. Um, and in the end, we're not able to get it fully completed, but still a great show. Friday night started with the Western Fuel Alters versus the rods. And of course, we've got some interviews with all the competitors coming up. So you want to stay tuned and make sure you check that out. I'm Sheldon Lofgren. I'm from Gilbert, Arizona. I drive a 23T Alter with a twin turbo TFX 92 Hemi. It's got a mechanical fuel injection. It's a one of a kind. Uh, it's all aircraft. I've raced here for probably six years. Our best time is a 690. Um, the car has been 660s and our fastest 60 foot here was a 993. So we're looking to take down some pro mods this week. Hi, my name is Jerry Ball. Um, I'm from Sierra Vista, Arizona. Drove up here to compete against the uh, Pro Mods, against the Alterts. My car is a 1979 Pluger. It's a 23 Altered T body. It's a 555 Chev, uh, cubic inch Chevy with an 871 blower on it. My quickest time to date is a 720 at 187 miles an hour. Tonight I hope to uh, run up against the Pro Mods and do my best with it, but I uh, appreciate you guys coming out and, and supporting us with this. Hi, I'm Rich Nasby. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. It's a 1932 American Bantam Roadster Altered, running a 548 Chevy with a 1471 supercharger. Uh, my best time in Tucson, I just ran uh, 204 miles an hour, 672. Here I expect to run around 690s. Glad you guys came out. Enjoy the show. I'm James Mosier from uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, it's the first time we'll be running this beast out here, uh, so we'll be taking it easy. I don't know if I don't know the fastest time yet. It's a '66 Chevelle, 1966 Chevelle. It's got, it's got a 526 cubic inch blown BAE Hemi. I'm not going to tell you the horsepower, and we're going to find out the top speed. My name is Jacob Villegas. I drive a 1967 Chevy Two Nova, and I'm here from Albuquerque. Uh, my fastest ET is a 460 here in Albuquerque, and that's the fastest I've gone here. Hello, I'm Mitch Bowen with the Rust Bucket. Uh, we run the WFA uh, fuel alterts. Um, it's a 32 Bantam, and as you can see, we have a infinity for for the uh, rat thing. It's 32 Bantam, 99 Gordy chassis. Uh, 521 cubic inch motor, about 2,000 horsepower, uh, top speeds 212. Um, we went uh, 645 with it so far. Run out of Flagstaff, Arizona. Uh, we ran here in Albuquerque quite a bit. Uh, we really enjoy running this track. This will be the first time with the Pro Mods, so we're looking forward to it. Hi, I'm Pat Neal. We're out of Tucson, Arizona. This is the uh, Dave Sharp's altered. It's a uh, uh, 23 Bantam with a uh, Brad 6, 521 inch uh, Hemi motor. We've been 220 mile an hour at 630s before. Uh, we've been 214 here in Albuquerque, so hopefully with good track, we'll repeat. Uh, my name is Mike Labate from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm driving a 1968 Firebird twin turbo 88 with a 526 Hemi. Uh, quickest ET is a 417 at 189 miles an hour. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Albuquerque Dragway. My name is Gordy King. Uh, hometown is Alamogordo, New Mexico. We're looking forward to a great weekend out here at Albuquerque Dragway. Um, I run in the rods class, and my quickest pass out here has been a 456. We're looking to better on that, uh, at, least, at least match it. Uh, it's been a tough race here the last time. We really had to battle to come back, but we're looking forward to a great weekend. Robert Malone, Durango, Colorado, 67 Nova 2. Uh, Memorial weekend, I think we did 480s. Hi, my name's Ed Thornton. 
I drive the D-Bar D 70 and a half Camaro. It's a pro mod car. I'm from Chino Hills, California, and it's my first time to Albuquerque. Where's Mike Majo from San Dimas, California. We have a, 60, a 68 Camaro, a Tim McAmis Camaro. We're running a Brad Anderson motor, about 4,200 horsepower. If you've never ran here before, it's our first time out here. The quickest time we've ran before is uh, in quarter mile is 563 at 264. I'm Arthur Cordova, and I'm from Santa Fe, New Mexico. And uh, it's a 63 Corvette Stingray, uh, 781 cubic inch big block Chevy, uh, three nitrous kits. And our best time is uh, 447 at 165. My name is Mike Garcia. Um, I'm here from Albuquerque. And my car is a 69 Chevelle. It's got a 632 cubic inch big block Chevy in it. A couple stages of nitrous. The fastest it's gone so far is a 492. So. We're working on it. Edward Hawkes, Santa Fe, New Mexico, 1963 Chevy Corvette, fastest pass, 460. Sadies is a proud supporter of New Mexico high school sports and athletics, and we here at ProView Networks would like to thank Sadies for their continued support in helping us bring you all of your New Mexico high school sports coverage. Don't sacrifice quality of flavor when you're in a hurry. Golden Pride offers ribs, fried chicken, green and red chili breakfast burritos, and Frontier Cinnabons. Four great locations, or visit us online at goldenpride.abq.com. Golden Pride Barbecue Chicken and Ribs, proud supporter of ProView Sports Network. Hey everyone, Adam Deal here with ProView Networks. Extreme Clean is a proud sponsor and supporter of ProView Networks and all high school sports athletics. Owner Mike McLean and Extreme Clean specialize in carpet cleaning for apartment, realty, business, and residential clients. With over 20 years experience, attention to detail and quality customer service matters. For more information, give them a call at 505-221-6440, Extreme Clean. Our first pairing of the Western Fuel Alters versus the Rods was Jacob Viegas versus the press bucket of Mitch Bowen. And you had Mitch with the victory. And so that was the first victory for the Western Fuel Alters. The second matchup didn't go for Ed Hawkins's. He uh, broke again, second race in a row. But the full metal jacket and Rich Nasby set a 513 at 130.32 and was the second victory for the Western Fuel Alters. Mike Garcia and Jerry Hall, closest finish of a .01, with the Yearwood Lane victory going to Mike Garcia for the first for the Rods at a 143.95 at 4.92 seconds with a .01 uh, over his competitor. The first victory for the Rods. The fourth matchup found Sheldon Lofgren 
uh, matched up with Mike Maggio. Mike Maggio in the Yearwood Performance Lane spun the tires and ended up with a 6.31. Not an impressive run, but pretty amazing when you consider it was only his second run at the track. Of course, the Sheldon Lofgren with that crazy hand-built aircraft turbo had a nice run and was the third victory for the Western Fuel Alters. The fifth matchup had a little bit of excitement with Pat Neal staging and we didn't get Gordy King stays. So that's why they ran in a split like that. The fourth victory went to the Western Fuel Alterds of Pat Neal with a 6.14 at 127. And the final matchup was actually two rods, and they went ahead and wanted to uh, set up qualifying time. And you had Robert Malone against Ed Thornton. And Ed Thornton with the victory to 5.33 at 196.40. And then at 10 p.m., we ran a matchup at which the Western Fuel Alters ran in the Yearwood Performance Line, and the Quick Lane went to the Rods. So our first matchup was Mike Garcia and the Rust Bucket of Mitch Bowen. And the next matchup was Rich Nasby and Mike Labate. And the victory goes to the Western Fuel Altered again in the Yearwood performance line. Looks like the tower lane is a little faster this evening with another victory for the Western Fuel Alterts. The next matchup was Jacob Viejas and Jerry Hall. Not quite as close, but finally a victory for the Rods with uh, Jacob really seeming like he's got that car hooked up for this weekend with a 497 in the quick lane at 151.57. And the next matchup was Pat Neal uh, was going to be running against the 2018 champion of Art Cordova. Uh, ended up drawing a red light because they found out that it wasn't safe to make a pass. There was some oil on the track. They wanted to make sure it was super safe.
after a little bit of break, Arter Cordova discovered that there's a problem with his starter and wanted to make sure that he got that fixed for Saturday. So both of them ended up not making a final run. We continued to have a little bit of break before we got to our final pass of the evening. And of course, at the line, Sheldon Lofgren in his uh, turbo Western fuel altered was going up against Robert Malone. And Sheldon came away with the victory in the Yearwood performance lane at 159.40 at 4.50 seconds. And the uh, final pass, Mike Maggio was uh, going up against Ed Thornton in a battle of the rides with uh, Mike Maggio walking away with a 4.33 at 163.10 in the quick lane versus in the Yearwood performance lane, a 4.99 at 107.55 laid down by Ed Thornton. And just before we ended the evening on Friday night, we went ahead and had Gory King Jr. wanted to make another pass. It ended up um, actually his car was damaged and was not able to make it back on Saturday, nor was James Mosier. James rolled his Chevelle up to the line um, and for some reason just couldn't get it to fire off, so they rolled it back off. And, and as they say, that's racing. Sometimes all the preparation has to be done before, and even when you make it to the track, things just don't work out. Folks, there's no other way but to be all in. Either he's Lord of all or he is not Lord at all. And you can experience the real and authentic, true life change that only God can provide to humanity. See, when we truly encounter Jesus and purpose to know him and follow his teachings, hashtag life change will occur. Hey everyone, Adam Deal here with ProView Networks. Extreme Clean is a proud sponsor and supporter of ProView Networks and all high school sports athletics. Owner Mike McLean and Extreme Clean specialize in carpet cleaning for apartment, realty, business, and residential clients. With over 20 years experience, attention to detail and quality customer service matters. For more information, give them a call at 505-221-6440, Extreme Clean. Hey everyone, Adam Deal here with ProView Networks. Extreme Clean is a proud sponsor and supporter of ProView Networks and all high school sports athletics. Owner Mike McLean and Extreme Clean specialize in carpet cleaning for apartment, realty, business, and residential clients. With over 20 years experience, attention to detail and quality customer service matters. For more information, give them a call at 505-221-6440, Extreme Clean. Well, I'm going to the frontier, walking to the cashier, order up a root beer and a number one. Cover it with green stuff, one scoop is not enough. Find a booth is real tough, back by the Duke. Meet my family, meet my friends in the quirkiest restaurant I have ever been. All of Albuquerque's favorite spot, it's the Frontier Restaurant. 
The Frontier Restaurant is a proud supporter of ProView Sports Network. And we return out to the Firecracker Nationals on Saturday, July 6, 4 p.m. with the final qualifying for the Rods and the Western Fuel Alters. Now, the Western Fuel Alters on Saturday were actually going to transfer to the quarter mile. Their uh, qualifying times were still set based on the eighth mile competition against the Rods. Rods will set their field and then will decide who will compete against who through a pill draw. All eyes have been on the skies this afternoon and we hope to get all the racing in. We start off with Rod's qualifying with the Battle of the Mics with uh, Garcia versus Labate. And Garcia comes away with a faster time at a 4.89. Labate's going to hold on to his qualifying time from Friday, which was a 5.38. And the next matchup with the Rods is Ed Thornton versus Jacob Viejas. Thornton comes away with a 4.51, Viejas with a 5.84. And Gordy King pulls up in the quick lane for his qualifying time. Oh man, that was at 8.02. Sounded like something broke, so uh, Hopefully, he'll be able to continue. Now in the Yearwood Performance Lane, Mike Maggio. Man, with a blistering 4.32. Also in the Yearwood Performance Line, you got Art Cordova, setting a time of a 4.71. Well, congratulations on Top ET, uh, 4.32. Did you think he was going to turn that quick? Yeah, we put two holes out. We had two cylinders out, but it, it's we've never ran at 9,000 feet altitude, so it's a little bit different for us. So it should go, we're hoping we can go a little bit better, but it's going pretty good. We're happy with it. Well, I think that's excellent for qualifying. Do you think you have some more in there if uh, someone comes up and uh, challenges that time? Yeah, we've got it. It's, we got all the power pulled out if we could possibly pull out of it. So we're trying to get a little more out of it. We took all the weight out of the clutch, trying to slip the clutch all the way down so we won't spin the tires. And So we're doing a few more things to it right now to see what happens. Awesome. So local competition last time it was a, a, a 446 um, that won this event. So do you think you're going to be able to just kind of hold back and save the equipment a little bit? Or? Uh, we're not really hurting the car running like this. So we should be. We, we don't run, run eight mile hours, quarter mile. Eight miles a lot easier on the motor and the car and the driver than a quarter mile is. So it works out pretty. We should be fine. So the uh, elevation really played quite a quite a difference in your your tuning when you came out. Yeah, the, the highest we've ever been is about six thousand. So it's a big difference. It's like running with two of the, the Venturi's taped up on a, an injector. So awesome. it's like it's choking it out pretty good. But everyone's got the same issue. We're no different than anyone else. You know. Is this your first time at the Albuquerque? Track? Yes, yeah, and everyone we've met here is great, and we had a really good time with everyone. Everyone's real polite, and they're nice people. All the drivers came over and introduced themselves and stuff. It was, we had a good time up here. Great, and so have you been here long enough to uh, decide whether you like green chili or red chili? Green. Green. I've always liked green. I used to work up here, so I worked on the 40 and a bunch of stuff. Ah, So I've, awesome. always, I've been a green chili man my whole life. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, and good luck in the next round. Thank you. Thanks. Sadie's is a proud supporter of New Mexico high school sports and athletics, and we here at ProView Networks would like to thank Sadie's for their continued support in helping us bring you all of your New Mexico high school sports coverage. Get into the game with Garden Swartz Team Sales. 
They have everything you need from screen printing, embroidery, and digital printing services, high school letterman jackets, and all high school and club uniforms and individual and team apparel with the most reliable brands like Speedline, Rollins, and Wilson. And don't forget to check out the latest F7 Shut Helmet. It's all at Garden Swords Team Sims. Give them a call, 505-884-1234. Garden Swords Team Sims. DreamStyle Remodeling has been wowing homeowners in New Mexico since 1989. Selected as Best Custom Home Remodeler for three consecutive years by readers of the Albuquerque Journal, we're also your exclusive provider for top home improvement brands like Renewal by Anderson, Four Seasons, Blaze King, and many others. Founded and headquartered in Albuquerque, DreamStyle Remodeling is family-owned and now employs more than 500 people across the southwestern U.S. In fact, we've helped more than 60,000 Thousand homeowners improve their home in New Mexico, Arizona, California, Idaho, and West Texas. We're committed to providing a superior customer experience. We've earned 4.6 stars with hundreds of online reviews and have an A-plus with the BBB. DreamStyle Remodeling is a proud supporter of UNM Athletics. Visit our beautiful 10,000 square foot showroom at 1460 Renaissance Boulevard across from Sam's Club or DreamStyleRemodeling.com to make your home remodeling dreams come true. And we return to the Firecracker Nationals on Saturday. The competitors were getting ready for the fill draw, assembling over in the staging lane because of the... Uh, the wind, so we were going to move it along so that we didn't do it in front of the grand sounds like typical. Uh, but Robert Costa ran the fun. Right, guys, so, uh, seven cars. So Mike Maggio is going to get the number one uh, qualifier bonus. Okay. So, so he's going to buy run in the first first round. He is choosing to go first. Okay. Mike Maggio earned 500 bucks. And he gets bragging rights over the alternate kid is number two. Hold on to your number. Don't let anybody see it. Art. Dude, you're number seven. Who's number four? Yeah, you, you just take one. Right in front of you. And now with the stage is set, Mike Maggio is going to make a solo pass because Gordy King was not going to be able to make the field. Ed Thornton versus Art Cordova, Jacob Vijas versus Mike LeBay, and Mike Garcia and Robert Malone will match up again, just like back at the Memorial Day Mayhem. What an amazing story. That's only his fourth pass at the track. He shows up, has a little wheel spin on his uh, first one. Next run is a 4.33, then a 4.32, and now a 4.13 for new track record, almost two tenths of a second, faster than his original qualifying time. And now the matchup, defending 2018 champion Art Cordova and Ed Thornton. Looks like Cordova's having some problems. Oh man, they're gonna have to roll it back out of the lane. Ed Thornton getting ready to stage. Well, I'm not sure what happened. He will not get a time on that because he left before the tree was actuated. All right, now you got Jacob Vijas in the Yearwood Performance Lane versus Mike LeBate in the Quick Lane. Oh man, there's some talk about whether he touched the center lane. I guess he touched the center lane, which is legal. So Mike LeBay is going to walk away with the victory on that. Wow, that was quite a lightning strike. And so now we're actually going to be on a delay until the weather rolls through. So Robert Malone and Mike Garcia are going to have to wait for their matchup. 
After waiting around for a little while, it was officially called that this is an official race. Um, everybody will be able to get up to second round points. Uh, so it's probably the most fair for all the competitors. What we basically refer to as show, show points. So next time out, you want to mark your calendars. Come out for the Labor Day Bash, August 30th and 31st. All of the information is available at abqdragway.com.